So the situation is, we're in Dundalk, which is in Ireland, and this little lad here, whose name is Buddy, has to get to Douglas, which is in the Isle of Man. Yeah. So it's been decided that I'm going to get a ferry from Belfast at 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. That arrives in Douglas at 2 o'clock, I think, thereabouts. And then I'm going to drop this guy off. And then I'm going to get a flight at 20 past 4 back to Dublin and a bus back to Dundalk. So I think I'll video this little adventure just for the fun. See how it goes. So the first problem of the day has already arisen. The Isle of Man Steam Packet Ferry Company has delayed our sailing from 10.45 to half 12, which means my chances of getting a flight back to Dublin this evening are pretty slim. I am determined not to stay on the Isle of Man today, so I might end up in Liverpool, I might end up in Manchester, London, Paris, who knows. <laughs> anyway, Laura's giving me a lift to Belfast, Buddy the dog is in the back of the car, we're good to go. coming up to 12 o'clock now the boat is due to depart at half 12 and they're still unloading here in Belfast port so that's great looking really really likely that I'm going to get my uh, 20 past 4 flight back to Dublin but whatever it is it is finally on board the ferry it's called the man a man a man which I believe is the Manx Pride of Man or something like that there's Belfast and the river lagging behind us. So uh, we were supposed to set sail at half 12. Well, we were supposed to set sail at quarter to 11, then half 12. Um, it's now about quarter to one and we still haven't set sail. So there's zero chance I'm getting a flight back to Dublin this evening. But I'll get home somehow. All part of the adventure. They took Buddy the little dog from me and put him in kennels about three steel decks below where I'm standing now. And I can still hear him squealing. So that's not good. But hopefully he'll survive the two-hour journey. If any exciting happens on this very tiny ferry on this very short crossing, I'll do another video. Hold the line jacket over your head through the centre hole.
burger I ate earlier nearly made it into this video twice. This has been a really, really rough crossing. Um, we're running really late, like later than late. So the estimated time of arrival now into Douglas is quarter past four. My flight is at 20 past four. So good luck to that. Uh, need to find another way of getting home today. Uh, about another half an hour before we get into Douglas. So during the uh, rough part of the crossing there was uh, quite a big bump and a lot of car alarms started going off so I suspect the dog is dead which makes this whole journey pointless which is a bit of a shame but uh, we'll find out in a few minutes. Laura, whatever about a, a ferry and an aeroplane and everything else you sent me on today, but you're going to make me squeeze into this car for half an hour. Just shocking. Absolutely shocking. But well, somebody's very, very happy. Look. <laughs> I'd like to order my customers. Traveling on these jet flights is at Y012 to Belfast International. And here I am. I am now booked on the 7 p.m. flight to Belfast as opposed to the 4.20 p.m. flight to Dublin, which is a little bit disappointing because going to Dublin would have been a nice circular journey uh, and made it a little bit more interesting. But uh, yeah, gone home anyway, one way or the other. <laughs> Lots of smells. <laughs> It's raining and must mean I'm back in Ireland. That was a nice day, very adventurous. <laughs> Thanks to Laura for clicking me in Belfast instead of Dublin against the plan. On to the next adventure. Isn't that right, Eddie? <laughs>